Say it again, it just started. Hi there. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show my record store day finds. Um, we ended up going to everybody's. If you watched Brenton's video, he told her that. Uh, for record store day, and um, my cousin and her husband went with us, and they're just becoming record collectors, so it was a new experience for them. And um, it was quite a wonderful day that day, wasn't it? We had a really good day. Um, so I didn't get everything on my list. I have five records on my list that I really wanted. Um, actually, six, but since you watched my prior video where I talked about my Sunday's record um, I could mark that one off so I actually only have five on my on my list and out of the five I did get two so <clears throat> I'll show you what else I got because I did pick up a few other things um, at the record store as well so let's get started so um, as y'all know, I'm, I'm going to start a battle jacket, and I actually found my jacket, and I'm going to start putting my patches Finally on. Finally found the jacket. Yeah, because I'm picky. Um, well, they've been really hard to find for some reason. But here's another patch that I'm going to be putting on that jacket. I got this on Record Store Day. Oops. Is that a sugar skull? It's a sugar skull. Um, and then I got, focus please, Duran Duran, for Record Store Day release, and I want to say it's black vinyl, and I, I haven't, I'm sorry, I haven't even had time to listen to any records within the last week or so, because I've been working late hours so it is black I know thank you but um yeah this is really cool it's got a picture right here of Duran Duran and it's four of the original members <clears throat> the only one that's missing is Andy Taylor and there's this little slide um, inner sleeve piece. Isn't this a lot? Is this a live album? Uh, I thought I read I somewhere. I do want to say yes. I thought I read somewhere that it was a I think a it line. says Duran Duran. See the can. Oh, okay. So it's a Japanese. And they're mm -hmm. Japanese too. It says here. What's this say? It says Paper Good Tour, Paper Gods Tour recorded live at Budokan Tokyo featuring press pressure off. Reach for the sunrise and save a prayer. Hmm. So, it's got a view to a kill on it as well. And, um, I'm really excited to have it and get to listen to it. Oh, I just got really hot. They don't do a lot of their hits on here, though, do they? No, because it's from the Paper, paper Tour and Paper Gods Tour. But, I mean... In the concerts, surely they do more than that. Well, sure. There's only like four or five songs on there. It's like almost like an EP. That's odd. Let's see. There's four on that side. And five on that side. Hmm. Well, if there's New Moon on Monday. Mm -hmm. So there's one, two, three songs on here that are not on the Paper Gods tour. That's weird. Or on Paper Gods CD album, whatever you have by them. Hmm. <clears throat> um, and then the other purchase I made for Record Store Day assistant was this, and I'm keeping this shrink wrap on this record. <clears throat> well, it's the Cure. And it's a picture disc. Um, it's a double album, and both albums are picture disc, and they look the same, so I'm only going to show you one. Oh, God, I almost dropped it. So, I'm real excited about getting this. 
So yay. And it says it's <coughs> remastered by Robert Smith, so can't get any better than that. So, um... And both of these are picture discs? Uh-huh. They're both the same. Are they really? That's mm -hmm. unusual. See? Huh. You'd think the picture discs would be different. Why is that like that? Because that should be... Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Oh, it's not in the right sleeve. Go ahead and help. Just miss it. So, um... My cousin, um, they had the Madonna, I'm sure everybody saw that, um, release for, for, um, Record Store Day, and she was real excited about that until we got back to the used records and she saw that, oh, she could buy, <clears throat> she could buy the same songs. What is this for? Um, from this. It won't go in there. It's small. Does it go on the no, record? No, it goes on the record. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, she could buy the same songs on um, same record. On the same record for cheaper. So she ended up buying a record store delay release by Taylor Swift. Um, and and her record was Pink marble it was a two uh, album release as well and one was pink marble with white and the other one was white uh, clearish type mar uh, record vital with pink did she so get the madonna one she did not because she she decided the release that we had back there that they had back there had a tiny um deep scratch on it and you know she's real picky about her records like i am so she decided not to get the Madonna, and I told her a lot of times, once Record Store Day is over, she they sometimes discount them, and so she could come back and get it at a discount. So, mm -hmm. she decided not to, and she got the Taylor Swift, because that one she wanted more. Because so, who doesn't like Taylor Swift? That's what she got. But, um, it was so fun watching their faces because they're new um, collectors and um, having a new experience with them. It was really interesting and fun to watch their faces and see them go, oh, look at that. Oh. And if you guys happen to be watching this video, <clears throat> it'd be nice if you could make your own videos too. That'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Have your own channel and, you know. That's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, nice. so then um, one of I got one more record at record for record store day, and then I'm gonna show an album that I picked up at just random store. Um, so then I got back in the used records. I picked up this Martita. Martita. It's the one that sings that song, Toy Soldiers. I've never seen that record. I don't think. And actually, it was so funny because my cousin found it, and she goes, oh my god, you used to love her. And I said, you're right, I did, and I don't actually have that record. Let me see that. Well, I think I have a Martika record, but it's not this one. It's a different one. Oh. I mean, I think I have one. That's the only song I know by her, though, Toy Soldiers, I think. It seems to me like I know that song, and I know another song. Well, it seems like there is another the one, moment. but I don't remember. Moment. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess it's been a couple weeks ago, Brenton and I mm -hmm. were out looking for some new stores to go to, and um, actually looking for gaming stores, because we recently picked up a, a Xbox One, so we've been trying to find games that we both like, or uh, to play on it, and we went to this um, used game store, and when we went in there, they happened to also have records, and um, they had CDs too, mm -hmm. and movies, um, and games. So I was looking through the records, and I picked up this, Billy Idol, Flash Smile, Don't Give Me a Gun. Don't Need a Gun. Or Don't Need a Gun. I love the cover of this. And there's the record. It's dirty, but... Is it three songs or four songs? Um, 
Don't need a guns on A side. Um, don't need a gun. The acapella version is on B. I would like to hear that. Fatal Charm. It's also on B, so it's three songs. Is this one of his tattoos? I don't know, but it's really cool. Look, sort of it's looks a, like it's a, a record. Yeah, it's sort of. It looks like it's pencil drawn. Did you it show says that? Whiplash Mountain. He did show that. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a Billy Idol single I'd like to get, The White Wedding one. And I seen it a long time ago at Half Price, and I don't know why I didn't buy it, but I say that a lot of times. And It's uh, the one with the bride on the front mm -hmm. and him standing there. So it's, I think it's in black and white. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have that. I think we have seen that. I've seen it. I know I've seen it at least once, but I might have seen it more than once. And <clears throat> this is our problem. So, when we go to the record store, that's my phone ringing. Can, yeah. you, can you go turn my phone off or deny the call or something? Um, It'll stop time I get there. When we <laughs> get to the record store and we start looking, Brent is very tunnel visioned when it comes to the record stores. And I'll see stuff that he's mentioned to me that. He says, oh, I really like to get that, or oh, I really like to get that. And if it's not in that tunnel vision, it was your dad. He will, okay, he will, deny that. okay, I'll call him back. Um, he'll just, he'll say, no, I don't want that today. And then a week <clears throat> later, he goes, man, I'd really like that. Well, we just seen it at the rec store. And he goes, no, we didn't. Or I'll say, yeah, we did. Why didn't I buy that? Or yeah. Anything. Or he'll say, Oh, yeah, we did. Well, we have to go back to your <clears throat> store so I can get it. No, that's not in the budget. <laughs> what budget? What's a budget? So, well, anyone out problem. there that's that's watching that wants to know, how was our record store day? What was it like? How's everybody set up and all that? Because I didn't go into too much of that for my oh, video. I meant to. It but. was a lot of fun. Of course, there's a lot of people in there, and, and everybody has their record store day stuff all on one sh on one wall um so they were um they were uh, like when i go into record store day because i have a whole thing with crowds of people um and claustrophobic and and i get anxiety and stuff so when i go in for record store day that's the first place i go is to the record store day releases I grab what I want and then I go find a corner that doesn't have a lot of people and calm myself down and then I can wander around the store a little bit um, my cousin she actually actually has the same problem I do so she was following me around the store um, on that day so well it's good that they have uh, the store is big enough to where there's a lot of areas that you can go where there's not a lot of people, like where True. the other records are that's not record store day, the used ones and stuff seem to be pretty calm in those areas. True. So, um, which is what I did on this uh, record store day. I went straight to the record store day releases. And I didn't, like I should have. And he didn't, and he ended up missing getting some records because he didn't. And, um, so... Eh. <laughs> One that he really, really wanted. Oh, I'll get him one of these days. And one, he got one because I pulled it for him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't get that one either. It's all that tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. It's that whole tunnel vision. Well, I said this in my video. I just walked in and just started looking like we normally do when we right. go there. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's record store day. What am I doing? <laughs> so, um, it was fun. Um, and then, like I said, there's lots of people there. And then they have bands that play live there, which I love uh, the live music, absolutely. Um, but him and I were talking about, you know, a lot of times these record stores just don't have room for a live band. Right. And um, everybody's has a little section where bands play. And the bad thing about it is, the good thing is there's a live music there, so it's an, a new experience. It's giving those bands the experience to play in a small space for people who've never heard them. 
That's the good thing. The bad thing about it is, is then you have people standing around wanting to listen to the band and it's really, really hard to walk around them or they're standing right in front of the dollar um, records and you know that's one of the things that him and I both want to look at and um, can't really do that because people are standing around there. So that was the bad thing. The other bad thing is sometimes the music's super loud for that small space. It actually wasn't this time. This time it was not. and It was acoustic, I think, when we yeah. were there, at least. I didn't really care for the guy who was singing. But, you know, to each his own. Some people liked it. Um, and then we went to get something to eat. And then we went to got, got something to eat, and then we ended up down... You want to say where? Uh, we went to Gaslight, which is a cafe next door to everybody's that I absolutely adore. Real good food. It's super, super good food. Um, it's a little bar is what it is. But they serve food too. And the pews, well I say pews, the <laughs> benches in there look like pews. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a church slash bar. <laughs> Well, you some, pray for your drinks. Some there. people would call a bar a church. So. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's where they hear of their sin uh, or yeah. make sin. Yeah, so, um, anyway. So, after that, we ended up downtown Cincinnati um, in this little community. We were, we were looking for a place that apparently does not exist in Ohio. Yes. Like we thought. <laughs> It's in my Vegas cousin, or It was all my cousin's fault. <laughs> I no, blame her. Actually, it was whoever posted it on Facebook's fault because it was in Vegas. It wasn't in That's Cincinnati. That's true. We were looking for this place called Cloud Stuffers because she had seen this video on, on uh, Facebook for Cloud Stuffers. And what that is is it's like an ice cream parlor that makes... But that's makes, not really the name, apparently. That makes... Um, cotton candy burritos and what a cotton candy burrito is just look it up you'll be amazed just look it up it just has like gummy worms and stuff in it and i and three scoops of ice cream and it's a diabetic coma we need to make those we that's we really should just make our own so um that's what we were looking for because somebody had posted a video saying that there was one open up in cincinnati and turns out that was false. So we ended up trying to find someplace else to go to get uh, dessert. And we ended up down in this little place called Walnut Hills um, in Cincinnati. Is that the um, name of it? Mm hmm And um, we were going to go to this place called Opio. Um, Opio. Ha, <laughs> ha. Um, anyway, so because we walked into this place and it just was not appetizing to me, so... It's not what we were looking for, really. Mm -mm. No. I wanted a pie shop, and <laughs> that's not really what mm -mm. it was. It wasn't. They had pies there, but... Gross ones. Well, we don't know that. We didn't eat any. Well, that's true. We didn't eat any, but it just sounded gross because they had a vinegar pie, and I was like, I'm... No, no, let's go. So, we left... And it's a quaint little area, little township um, with shops up that line up and down the the road. And so we walked around for a little bit and went into a vintage store and um, went into a little art gallery place. Um, and uh, there was a wedding happening at the church on the corner. Uh, we the guy was playing bagpipes there. Yeah, it was really cool. We took some pictures of um, some architecture and, and stuff, and we still were wanting desserts. So Heather found, um, Heather's my cousin, um, she found a place called Bon Bon Brie, um, which was 0.8 bon, miles. Bon Bon Brie. Bon. No, Bon Bon Brie. Is it three bonds or two bonds? Two. That's what I said, Bon Bonnery. Bon Bon Brie. You said Bon Bon Bonnery. No, I didn't. You didn't? No, Maybe I did. You did. Anyway, <laughs> this is my life. Um, 
Anyway, so we ended up going there, and it's kind of like a European style uh, restaurant, um, just a little quaint cafe type place. Um, and they had food, but it just happened that that day their oven was broken. So, um, yeah, we decided that we only wanted dessert anyway, so, so yeah. it didn't really matter. No. Um, but the, the staff was really nice and, um, we got our dessert. They had like little teapots and everything or sitting around and people were having like Sunday tea like they do in England with the finger sandwiches and the three tiered uh, plates and and um, it was really cool place. <coughs> and yeah, we got our dessert. Heather and Branton got chocolate eclairs and Heather's husband David and I got um, raspberry a uh, lemon raspberry tort which is really kind of like a cake and it was scrum delicious it was the best that's what <laughs> i should have got all of us should have got he that. actually ate half of my piece because it was really really sweet for mm. me so um so then we went in the back of the place and they had a uh, bakery so we ended up getting molasses cookies and more stuff we didn't need <laughs> raspberry cookies and some grog some grog and which is coffee um and what else did we get oh uh lemon blueberry bread mm -hmm. which is now gone now gone so all that stuff's gone except the coffee <laughs> Because we don't have a sweet tooth or anything. No. Um, we have rotten teeth. That's what we have. No, my teeth are not rotten. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that was that um, that place. And it was a, a really, really enjoyable time. And then we went to a place called Hemp Station. Hemptation. Hemptation, which is obviously a hemp store. Um, and he picked up some incense and then we just walked around up and down the street we went into this little place and I don't know the name of it so I apologize but the the whole premise of the store was they purchase goods from third world countries um, and these are handmade goods that people in that country make they purchase these handmade goods they sell them in the shop and then they take 30% of whatever their profits it are and they return that back to that country that they bought those goods from. So it's a really cool place and they had tons of stuff in there I, w I would have loved to have. but If we hadn't spent all our money on records. Right. Um, so it was really cool. Um, <clears throat> and then we, we came home. Um, and went to bed probably. No, Heather and David stayed over here for a little while. Yeah. We played games and stuff, and um, that was our record store day. So it was a really, really cool day. We had a great time, great company, um, good record store, found what we wanted, wasn't disappointed at all with the record store day experience. No, because we went to the right place. Yeah, and... of course we did. Mm-hmm. Everybody's just the best store in Cincinnati, hands down. So, that was that. So, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I just rambled on about our day, but that was our spin. She drives a rambler. No, I don't. Anyway, we'll see you later. Bye now.